Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. I truly appreciate you. Let's hop right into the message, okay? The message on this one is somebody did something to hang themselves, okay? This person doesn't realize that they're being monitored. Maybe they do and they don't care. But I think they've been able to get away with doing stuff for so long that they just truly believe they're going to continue to get away with doing slick shit forever, okay? This is one of those people, you know how they say, God take care of babies and fools? This person ain't a baby, okay? They continuously do fully, foolish shit. And God keeps looking out for them. God keeps giving them chance after chance to get on one accord and do the right thing. Okay? But they refuse to do something. And they just, they refuse to do... They refuse to do something. They're with 111. This person was told to do something specific to try to clear up some of this karma that they're going to ultimately be facing for all of these foolish things that they did. But they didn't want to do that. And them not doing that has is what has caused them to hang themselves, okay? Let's clarify this. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Can you give us some insight and guidance into the download that I just received? I hope you all are doing good at this time. Thank you so much for your continued support of Mommy Watatero. Please, please, please continue to hit that like button. Share my content if you feel the want or need to do so. And make sure that you're subscribed as well as you have that bell, bell notification button on so you'll be alerted whenever I post. Because you may not be subscribed even though you thought you were once upon a time. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what do you... I'm telling you, this person, this hanging reference has been coming up today. But this person right here has done something... They didn't do something that they were told to do that was going to keep their ass out of trouble. But they were so used to getting away with stuff that they just did not feel like they had to do what they were told to do. And they've hung themselves, literally. Hang man on the bottom. Cut the deck on the five of pentacles. So what else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know from you through me at this time regarding this download please and thank you holy spirit what is the message what are the messages holy spirit please and thank you what are the messages at this time justice this person you know it's really given like pre-trial intervention program that's something they had from where i'm from i'm sure they got that in most states where if you were like a first-time offender or if you got caught up for something and you hadn't been in trouble before, they let you go through like a community service type of program where if you follow all the rules of what they tell you to do, they'll drop your charges, okay? You, you got arrested, but your record will be expunged if you complete the program su successfully. This is who I'm picking up on. The justice system had told this person that there was something that they must complete and do. Chariot, it could be a cancer here, but there was some sort of action that they were supposed to take. There was some sort of direction that this person was supposed to go in if they wanted to stay out of trouble. And they didn't do that. To clarify this chariot energy. I feel like this justice, eight of swords, I was just about to say, I feel like this justice cherry energy is speaking about how this person is about to be in prison because they did not do what they were told to do. And it is something like community service or something like that with this six of pentacles. The six of pentacles talks about charity, giving, sharing your time, your wealth, your energy with people who may be less fortunate than you. Okay, so whoever this was, it's really given that the justice system was going to let them off the hook, give them probation, something like that, if they completed some kind of community service. Some sort of plan was given to this person to help them avoid jail time. 
And this is a feminine, y'all. I'm telling you right now. I'm picking up on their energy. Even before we started the reading, this is a feminine energy here who's about to go to jail because she felt like she didn't have to do what these people said. Charity? Me? I have to go and give back to the community? You're kidding me. That's this person vibe. They very stuck up. Page of Cups. They were told that if they wanted to stay out of trouble, if they wanted to be free to love and do and express themselves however they wanted to in the future, they had to follow this plan of action. And they didn't do that. And I feel like they tried to act like they did it with this page of cups. But somebody looked into whatever this feminine was ordered to do. It's really giving community service. Like this person may have lied, got somebody to say that she did the community service and she didn't. Okay. Why is this coming out, Holy Spirit? Why are we talking about this? Six of, oh, we talking about this because somebody divine masculine was partnering with this person that's about to go to jail. Okay. And she has been publicly exposed for whatever this was that she is having to do this community service for. I feel like this public exposure allowed this King of Wands to free himself from this karmic partnership. This woman may have stolen some money from somebody here. Clarified his five of pentacles here. The star. Definitely healing from some sort of loss. Going from the five of pentacles to the star is somebody who's recovering from a loss. Someone who's trying to heal and put the pieces back together. So that's what this King of Wands is doing. But it has something to do with this Chariot Eight of Swords and what they did. They may have stolen money from this King of Wands that they were partnering with. And they didn't have to tower out here now. They were told, yep, they asked, got called in the court about some money they stole from a King of Wands here. Whether they were partnering with this person or not, but I'm picking up, they were partnering with this person and they didn't rob this man, okay? Been stealing money from him while they were connected. And they had to go to court about that shit. This King of Wands did not let that go. Depending on how much money this chariot eight of swords stole, they probably couldn't let it go. But this chariot eight of swords was told by the justice system, we going we gonna to let you pay restitution and do some community service. Something like that here now. Or we going to let you go through this pretrial intervention program. You pay back what you spent and you do the community service and you won't have no charges on you. You don't have to go to jail. You don't have to stand before a judge and jury and be prosecuted for this crime. If you do what you're supposed to do. Okay? Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm getting, y'all. And she didn't do it. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Emperor. It's almost as if this is that student pre-trial intervention program shit falling right up under this chariot energy. One second, y'all. But these people told her, you know, you ain't got to go to jail this time if you do what we are asking you to do. If you complete your community service and you pay back what you stole. Okay, so she had gotten a chance. That's why I said God take care of babies and fools. God allowed this person to remain unscathed with this emperor judge energy here. The judge told this woman, if you do what we tell you to do with this page of pentacles, you will not have to go to jail. But if you don't do what we tell you to do, your ass is going to jail. And she tried to skip Hierophant right behind the damn emperor. She tried to skip out, skip off skip out skip off she tried to do all them damn things <laughs> child for me to say all three of them i'm telling you 
She she maneuvered her way around having to do this community service. This woman did not want to do this community service, nine of wands. She was scheduled to go to some sort of organization and work for them, and she didn't want to do it. With this nine of wands, she did not want to follow this, this plan of action that the justice system had put in place for her to not get in trouble like this is why this is crazy to me because everything's like everybody else is breaking their neck trying to keep this woman out of trouble except for the woman who put herself in that trouble okay because what i'm getting is that they made some sort of concessions for this woman they gave her ass a break whatever she did against this king of wands she should have been put in jail for it it's something about money here, and I also feel like there's some sort of physical ailment this man had to heal from. Going from the Five of Pentacles to the Star, either he suffered some sort of financial loss he's having to recover for, from, 11-11, or he faced some sort of physical health situation here. And Ace of Wands, they gave her a new opportunity at life instead of making her have to suffer the consequences for her actions now. So she got somebody in the judicial system who was trying to look out for her ass, point blank, period. Because I'm telling you, this is a very prissy individual. It really grinded her gears to hear this judge say that she had to go volunteer at a charity. She don't want to be around no homeless people. She don't like homeless people. They dirty. They don't, she don't want to deal with them. She don't want to be around them. I'm telling you the energy this woman in, I'm picking up on it heavy. Like she was disgusted by the thought of having to do charity work that she had 12, 12, that she has risked her freedom. Because whoever this is, she going to jail because she tried to say she did complete her service with this page of cups. But these people looked into her actions and found out something different. We have the three of wands. Now they're having to plan a different type of future for her. This hermit energy. This hermit energy is whoever the probation officer, you know, whoever that within judicial system who's assigned to check on these program attendees and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. That's who looked into this chariot and the source to see if they had been doing what they were told to do. And they found out that they had not. They had been turning their back to their responsibilities. And that's crazy because I'm telling you, these people have really tried to work with this woman. They have really tried to make things go in her favor despite what she did. High priestess. They really tried to keep her business out of the public eye with this high priestess to the above, the, excuse me, with this high priestess under the Six of Wands. This emperor justice energy. Now, in addition to trying to keep her ass out of jail, these people tried to keep her business out of the street. I'm telling you, she got friends in high places in whatever community she in, and these people done stuck their neck out for her because she did do something that she should have very well been prosecuted for to this King of Wands. Can we get more insight into this chariot and this King of Wands connection, Holy Spirit? Three of Pentacles. These people did at one point collaborate together. These people worked together. Three of Pentacles is falling right up under the King of Wands. What else, Holy Spirit? Queen of Swords. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what I just picked up on. I didn't pick up on a love triangle here. This chariot of the swords energy was messing with this king of wands who was also partnering with an Aquarius. And I'm picking up on some shit like this chariot may have gotten in some sort of squabble, 
some sort of argument, assault. Something happened here. Some sort of domestic dispute. Because we went from the King of Wands to the Five of Pentacles with the Star to the Tower. Because the Tower is when her ass got in trouble. The Tower is when she had to stand in court and get the option to be in this, this pre-trial intervention program. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's what it's called for this person and where they at. But that's what I'm hearing. Some sort of pre-trial intervention program was given as an option to this chariot at a source after she showed out and had some sort of altercation with this king of wands and with this Aquarius queen of swords. Now, it's out here. Because he was collaborating with her and he was collaborating with this chariot energy. Something was revealed. Something was exposed. Possibly about a child as well. The sun finna fall right up under the star. So maybe this cherry energy found out that this king of wands was expecting a child with this third party. And she lost her shit. Seven of pentacles right behind that sun energy now. Two of wands right behind that because this king of wands may have been preparing an, ex preparing an exit away from this chariot. This man may have Leo in his chart. But he was moving forward with this Queen of Swords, and there was something about a child here. Something about a child, fertility, pregnancy here. And this man was giving up on his partnership with this chariot energy. And baby, she lost her shit behind that. I, I'm really picking up on a whole fight. I said a squabble. It was a little, a little bit deviled and came out here. Now, I'm telling you, it was a little bit more than a squabble. Okay, security may have had to get involved depending on where these people was at. But this moon energy, they didn't expect her to pull up on their ass. That's what I'm getting too. That's what I'm getting here as well. This king of wands didn't expect for this cherry energy to pull up on him and this queen of swords here. And the moon is falling right up under the ace of wands. The ace of wands is falling right up under the page of cups. So this Queen of Swords must have got pregnant by this King of Wands and this chariot flipped out. She's also stolen money from this man. That may not be what she had to go to jail for. I'm picking up. She went, she went to jail. She was arrested for some sort of domestic dispute. She assaulted these people. And if this Queen of Swords was pregnant at the time, she definitely got arrested for that. But somebody tried to let her ass go now. They, they tried to keep her business out the street. This woman has been arrested, but there's no public record of her arrest. I'm telling you right now. That's a damn shame, motherfuckers, that be doing that shit. And they always come back to bite their ass. It always come back to bite their ass when they be trying to look out for motherfuckers like this. They keep their damn name out of the police blotter. Out of the jail report, they hide their arrest. They do all kind of flagrant, false ass shit for these type of folks. And that's why these type of folks be the one that come right back around and bite them in the ass. Because these people looked out for this woman. I'm telling you, went above and beyond. This woman, people do not know she got arrested for a domestic dispute some sort of assault on this queen of swords and this king of wands they kept that shit hidden for this woman worked out a whole plan for her to get these charges dismissed and she won't do the work they're gonna have to lock her up i'm telling you i'm getting something like that ace of pentacles because she had this prime opportunity this once in a lifetime opportunity people don't even get this option to change the circumstances of their life when they had a heated moment and made a major mistake. And she was wrong for what she did too. It's out here. She wasn't innocent at all. So if they're giving her an opportunity to reset her life and go in a different direction, why isn't she taking advantage of that? Five of Swords. That's what these people are saying. Five of swords to the magician. If a light has been shined down on what you did against this king of wands, why are you not 
taking the action to correct it. Mm, mm, mm. Final out, Knight of Wands. Why, why are you still participating in this erratic behavior by not doing what you were told to do? Because you already, she did something very bold and erratic against this Queen of Swords Aquarius, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it was, it was a wild as fuck. Whatever this chariot did. Nine of Swords. Because I'm telling you, I'm picking up something like this Queen of Swords was pregnant. And these people didn't got to fight. And then this woman was pregnant. And then she lost her child. Okay? It's really giving something like that here now. Like this woman lost her baby. And whatever domestic dispute that she got into this chariot with. Okay? That's what it's giving now. So she could have really went to jail for some old other shit, but these people was looking out for her ass. It's something like that here. This Queen of Swords suffered something, some sort of a loss here, some sort of pain, some sort of disappointment, failure, because the, the Nine of Swords is falling right up under the sun. As a result of, as a result of this domestic dispute, this assault here, this fight, whatever happened between her, this King of Wands, and this chariot here. But she pulled up on their ass. I'm telling you. Pulled up on their ass like they was the police. And then the police pulled up on her. Because this Queen of Swords had to recover. She may have even had to go to the hospital after whatever fight she got into with this chariot energy. Okay? So, you know, if this woman fucked around and kicked this woman in her stomach and she miscarried or something like that, she could really get in a lot of trouble for that. But these people ain't prosecute her for what she should have been prosecuted for. I'm telling you. And they, they gave her another chance. But she didn't hung herself by not going and doing this damn charity. Something so very simple she could have done. She refused to do it. It's like her privilege has poisoned her mind. Her privilege has poisoned her mind. Seven of cups out here. I'm trying to tell you, delusions of grandeur. This woman is up under some heavy belief that she don't have to answer to nobody. She can do what she want to do. The ball is always going to be in her court. She's always going to have options in life, no matter what type of foolish mistake she makes. She did steal some money from this King of Wands. Let's clarify that because I'm picking up on that. I'm picking up on both of them things. He was already messing around with this Aquarius Queen of Swords, and he was planning to exit away from this chariot anyway. That may be why she was stealing from him. He King of Wands on the bottom of this deck. Eight of Swords. So he may have already knew she was stealing from him and that's why he was leaving her and he was cheating. I ain't even gonna say cheating. Cut the deck on the two of wands. He was messing around with another woman. I don't see no commitment. Not no real commitment. Maybe this chariot thought she was in a commitment with this king of wands. But he ain't even match his energy ain't even matching up with this queen of swords, okay? So neither one of these people are this man's divine counterpart i'm picking up that whoever is listening to me in the collective this is your divine masculine this is the shit your divine masculine been going through with the karmic energy i'm sure you're well aware of who this chariot is okay but you probably been wondering once again why you ain't with your twin flame people be wanting to know that shit they want to know why their twin flame ain't got their shit together yet and for one of y'all, this is why. Okay? Because I'm not picking up that he has disconnected from this Queen of Swords. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. I'm not picking that up. I'm picking up he's still lost in the Matrix. Empress with the Hierophant, child. So he didn't commit. This what? 
This queen of swords, she might not have lost their baby, but she had to go to the hospital after that fight. She might be pregnant. And this man has committed to her. Okay? That's what I'm getting now. She pregnant. And that's why the, this judicial system had to make this cherry energy suffer some kind of consequence. So they was going to have issues with this queen of swords empress here. Because of whatever pain and discomfort she experienced at the hands of this woman. This woman pregnant though. So this king of wands has still continued to partner and commit to this other woman. Okay. For whoever twin flame this is. Magician. Four cups. And the universe is saying, let this go. It's time to move forward, baby. Because whoever this king of wands is, he is lost in the sauce. He is stuck in the matrix. He, he truly has got some sort of penchant or adoration for karmic energies. I'm telling you. He, he doesn't see that these are not offers he should accept, but he continues to take action with these people anyway thinking that they are some type of golden opportunity. Look what came out. I'm telling you, this man, he be partnering up with women because he think that they can build money, build and have something together. They can get money together. And I feel like this is what he tried to do with this chariot. That's why they was in the five of pentacles because this king of wands is not going to ever be able to be in the king of pentacles unless he reconnects with his Six of Cups, his divine counterpart. That's you, whoever you are. But baby, we not sitting around waiting on nobody to make up their mind about who they love with this King of Cups. And whoever this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups is, he knows the truth about you and him. Oh yeah, he do. He know exactly who the fuck you are. He know you the divine feminine. He knows that he could be happy in the end of sun with you, that all his wishes could come true. Whoever this, this particular masculine is, this man been told, he been, he been shown, he been told that if he come over there and be with you, everything going to be all good, baby, with this page of swords. Okay? But he still don't want to leave. He still don't want to boss up for you. So we not sitting around waiting on no motherfucker to make up their mind. And it seemed like this motherfucker already done made his mind up, okay? He going to stick with who he currently with, just like he was sticking with that cherry energy before she crossed him. And it's not going to be too much longer before this Queen of Swords Aquarius cross him too. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Queen of Wands then came out here in reverse. Now let me tell y'all something. I just was looking at this page of swords and I was like thinking somebody is watching this pregnancy. Somebody is watching this pregnancy. Somebody don't think that this baby is this masculine. They think this queen of swords been out here like this. Okay. And then it's falling right up under the hierophant. So she probably has slept with other folks while she was sleeping with this king of wands here. This King of Wands, King of Cups here. Because, see, he thinking she his ideal love choice. And that's why her ass came out in reverse. Because, once again, neither one of these women are this man's ideal counterpart. Neither one of these women are this man's Queen of Wands. But he's trying to put, it's this one of them vibes. He going to put every damn body he can before the divine feminine because he want to prove that she ain't the divine feminine and that's why he going through what he going through because he about to go through it with this damn queen of swords now child people are already saying she a hoe people are already questioning the paternity of this child seven of wands oh he finna go through it with her next so this is someone who has resigned themselves to a life of purgatory with karmics and you can't sit up and be waiting around on a motherfucker like that. 
to get his shit together. I'm sorry. Whether it was a feminine or a masculine, you cannot be sitting around waiting on somebody like that to decide that they're going to love you and honor the divine mission between the two of y'all. They just have to lose out. I guess you'll see them next lifetime because baby, this lifetime, the Holy Spirit got this for you. You're not going to have to be alone unless you want to. And the only way that you're going to be alone is if you continue to pine after this person who at one point was your twin flame. That's why he came out as this king of wands. But this man do not want to accept the assignment. He understand it. He understand it all right now. But he don't want to execute it. So the universe is trying to allow you to triumph over his bullshit and get another divine masculine. Another person who will boss up for you, who will partner with you, who will commit to you. We have more than one divine soulmate. I don't care what nobody say. There are multiple people that you have interacted with throughout your lifetimes that you will meet again in another lifetime. They will come back around, okay? And somebody is coming back around for this divine feminine I'm picking up in the collective, this six of cups. The emperor is falling right up under the six of cups. Knight of pentacles. The, another plan has been put in place for this man's past life soulmate because he continues to plan lives with karmic energies, thinking that he's going to win but not realizing the high level of destruction that's going to be caused by the end. And that's what's been happening here. It's about to be bad. Whatever the hell this Queen of Swords Aquarius been up to, that shit finna be exposed. And this man is about to face another set of challenges, another high level of burden and stress for the choices he's made, okay? So somebody, somebody gonna have to just understand that at this point in the game they twin flame ain't twin flaming and it's time to move on because they're gonna keep being on this type of shit right here they're gonna keep choosing other women over you to try to have justice with because in their mind it's like whoever this masculine is he know who you are but he just don't want you to be that person because he don't want to be that person to you okay you and him do have a spiritual connection. You and him at one point had a passionate, intimate connection. But all of those things have fell by the wayside. They have dissipated. Dissipated, dissipated. I think it's dissipated, you know, whatever. Okay? Either way, that shit is over with. Because he ain't going to do. He ain't going to be. Okay? And... It's almost like he he knew that he wasn't going to fuck with this chariot no more. So he was already planning to exit away from her to go try to do something with this other woman. But we see what the outcome of that's going to be. Okay? So that's his, that's his plan of action. That's going to be his routine. And whoever you are, your routine needs to be moving forward towards this Six of Wands Emperor energy that the universe has in store for you, okay? Because you're restricting yourself by trying to stay attached to this man who don't want to stay attached to you, whether that's spiritually or physically. I'm not picking up that you be calling him, trying to hit him up, still have some line of communication with him. But you have still been hoping that he will come full circle, okay? He done already came around a few times with you. And this is what you got every damn time, okay? So this ain't nobody that you waiting to show up for the first time in this lifetime. This motherfucker done probably been around the bend with you eight times. You didn't gave this motherfucker multiple opportunities to show up and show out when it comes to you and who you are, and they have refused to do so. So what are you waiting for? You need to be in the Eight of Cups too. 
So you can get this new message of love that is waiting on you. Because this person going to continue to be in a tower and face endings with whoever he continues to choose over you. Whoever he decide to make the queen of cups of the moment, that's what their life going to be like. Okay? Because I didn't say... Oh, he going to go off and have live his best life with another woman because he don't want to be with his twin flame. I ain't say that. He going to go off and try to keep living his best life with other women. But that shit always going to crash and burn because he's not honoring or giving his divine feminine her rightful spot. This motherfucker going to always be in the tower and the five of pentacles with whoever he tried to partner up with. And I'm dropping the mic. Because something that ended for this chariot queen of cups for sure. I'm telling you, these people, we back to that, child. Let's clarify that real quick before we close. I'm telling you, though. They didn't have to, they decide now what, what is her, her sentence going to be. Because she did not. Actually, they be already determining that. You Like, you already be told. If you don't pay this restitution, if you don't complete your probation or whatever, your ass gonna have to do whatever these five or ten years or whatever. I'm here. Ooh, ooh. I don't think... I don't know, now. Nah. I don't think they gonna make her do no five to ten. Clarify, Holy Spirit. But her ass getting sent up the river now. Look, nine... I don't know, y'all, because I am picking up something like she assaulted a pregnant woman. I am picking that up. Clarify, Holy. Six of Pentacles. Six months, she going to have to get on down through there. Something like that here now. She going to have to do some time, y'all. Fool. She might have to do something like six months or something before she'll be free to... Of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. They wearing her options, baby. They wearing her options. They trying to decide what they finna damn give her. I don't know why this Ace is giving 10. We saw the Nine of Wands. We see the Six of Pentacles with the food. It's like they're trying to decide which, which type of sentence they're going to give to her. Mm, child. I think I'm going to leave it there, child. Because this woman wouldn't go. All she had to damn do, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I keep picking up on this shit. I wish it was that easy for everybody. Because this this, this kind of aggravate me, too. This privilege energy I'm picking up on. And still refuse to do better. Because all she had to do was probably do like six months worth of community service. And then she was going to be free, y'all. But now they're trying to figure out what her punishment going to be. It's something like that here. It could have been, I don't know why I keep hearing 5 to 10. I don't know why I keep hearing that. So, it, you know, they got to determine what it's going to be because she didn't take, care, take advantage of this golden opportunity. That's a golden opportunity if the damn ju judicial system says to you, hey, we're going to erase your criminal record if you complete these few months of community service and come to a few meetings in a few months, six months, your ass is done and you won't have nothing on your record. We already got rid of your mugshot. We didn't let the public know you was even arrested for what you did in the first place. So if you go ahead and push through and complete this program, you don't have nothing to worry about. This is what these, these people told her now. And this is what she chose to do as a result. So this is her fate. And again, to the Six of Cups Divine Feminine who may be cross-watching or watching this in general, just know that this, this particular twin flame, he long gone, child. And God is trying to present you with a new opportunity as well, a divine counterpart. So... It's time to fully release any type of connection, cut the cords from this other person so that you can get this new ideal counterpart, okay? 
And I'm going to end it here, y'all. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.